Let's watch rock principles in action throughout the shift. Hi, Ann. Hey, Carly. Do you have a minute for report? Of course. Okay, I just wanted to confirm our rounding schedule. I'll round on the patients on the even hours, if you could round on them in the odd hours. Okay. Okay, and then um, maybe like five minutes before the even, we could get together and talk over a few things. Sounds good. Okay, and then um, Carissa, mm -hmm. she had expressed that she wanted to walk in the hall. Okay. And she wanted to get up in the chair for lunch, so could you help her do those things? Sure, of course. Okay, and then maybe we could meet back together in a couple hours to um, check in. Okay, sounds good, Anne. Okay. Hey. Hey, Anne. Do you have a minute for me to update yeah. you on Carissa's mm -hmm. progress? Okay. Um, I just wanted to let you know I got her up to walk today. Good. She did great. Thanks. Not short of breath at all. All right. Um, right now she's sitting up in the chair to eat, okay. so we met both of her goals. All right, good. Um, and I just thought I'd update you before you did your 12 o'clock rounds. Okay, so then maybe we can meet up again in a couple hours. Okay, sounds okay. good. Okay, good. Carly told me she got you up to the chair for lunch. Yeah. Yeah, it went all right? Yeah, it went good. And you walked in the hall, she told me too. I did. I didn't even get out of breath. All right, nice job. Yeah. How's your pain? Good. Still feeling good. No pain at all. Good. All right. You're comfy in bed? Mm hmm Okay. And do you want to walk to the bathroom while I'm here? Um, you know, I'm all set for now. Thank you, though. You okay. Great. All right. Good. Um, is there anything else I can do for you? I have the time. No. No? All I'm right. Set. And then Carly's going to be back in, in about an hour. Okay. She'll check on you. All right. Great. Okay. Thank thanks. You. We'll see you. Okay. Throughout the shift, the nurse and nurse assistant team report in regularly regarding patient care needs and goals. The nurse identifies priorities and expectations for the team and establishes times for rounding, as well as team checkpoints and feedback. The nurse and nurse assistant also revise the care board as needed. This team approach ensures that everyone has the proper information at all times. During regular checkpoints and feedback, the nurse has the opportunity to delegate work to the nurse assistant and check on work in progress. The care team should have contact with all patients every hour. The nurse will round on patients on the even hours, and the nurse assistant will round on the odd hours. Be sure to check on the three P's, pain, potty, and position. You can use this time to do an environmental assessment and to make sure all items are in reach. Use this time to keep the patient and family informed of any updates in the care or any delays and ask for their questions. Before you leave, it's important to say, is there anything else I can do for you while I'm here? I have the time. Even when you're not rounding, watch for ways you can help patients by keeping the noise level down around the rooms, picking up litter, and checking in with anyone who seems to need help. If you are on shift when your patient is discharged, your goodbye will help set a lasting impression of Oakwood for the patient and family. Use this time to ensure they understand discharge instructions. Offer a wheelchair if appropriate, and if possible, walk the patient to the lobby. Finally, don't forget to thank the patient verbally and write a thank you note to your patient, wishing them well and thanking them for choosing Oakwood. You've seen how rock works. Now, a final word about why it works. A patient's perception of care is often as important as the medical care itself. A hospital can be a confusing, even scary place for patients and their families, especially when someone is in pain. Our job as caregivers is to not only deliver high quality care, but to also calm their fears, stop the pain, deliver necessary information, and to help people when they are at their most vulnerable. Relationship-oriented care helps us do just that. It helps us ensure that patients come first, and it helps us all stay connected to Oakwood's mission, vision, and values. <laughs>